going on guys well not a whole lot going on with the bowlings yesterday evening we just did laundry and hung around the camper after miss jill got off work she ended up working late last night so uh and i am still off today uh, trying to get some things taken care of with the office here in the local area where i'm going to be working anyway so i figured we'll go out and do some more exploring so let's take a ride and see what we can get ourselves into today Hopefully better than yesterday. <laughs> About strange things you see along Route 66. This is one of them. It's kind of cool though. You just don't see this kind of advertisement stuff anymore. Very cool to see something like this. Now, when I was a kid, you used to see stuff like this all the time. But, not so much anymore. I'd say you probably almost pull that old Dodge back off of there and We'll work, get her back running. It's not too awful bad. I'd walk up front of it and get a better look at the view of the front, but as you guys can see, I ain't walking through that. It's sad to see that this building here is vacant now. The lady back in 2012, when me and Jill met her, she had opened this place up and it had a Packard Museum inside. And she had a very nice collection of old Packards. As a matter of fact, she actually had one of the very first motorhomes on display in here. And I'll have to try to dig through some of our old footage and see if I can find that. I hope we have that still. Uh, it was a very cool place then. But unfortunately, this is the way things are ending up on Route 66 nowadays. Just not a whole lot of anything. This is the town of Afton, Oklahoma. Now, imagine one time, this was probably a little jumping little town. They had a little hotel and everything over there. The signage is still there, as you guys can see. Unfortunately, when they built the turnpikes and the bypasses around, all the little thriving towns that were probably really cool places to visit were all ended up like this. Pretty much a ghost town of what they used to be. It's very unfortunate. Wonder what that building there used to be. It looks like it might have been some sort of factory or something to that nature. Can't really see any information about it. Even the old grocery store, it says on here, wow, since 1922. See, bikers try to keep this stuff alive. It's nice to see. Well, Route 66 has more visitors from out of the country than anything that want to come and explore our history. And it's really sad that here in the United States there are so many people who could care less about our history of this road and what this road really meant for our country and connecting, you know, California with Chicago. It, you know, that was the, we moved troops this way. And really the biggest downfall with Route 66 was Dwight T. Eisenhower when he decided he needed more of an Autobahn from his time in the service. Uh, so, in a way, he kind of had to do with small town America dying. Um, I mean, I understand why he did it, to make sure that we weren't behind the times and make sure we were able to move our troops, our uh, <laughs> you know military equipment and everything else on a more efficient manner but it also hurt the little guy. So we're gonna drive back up the road here and we're going to stop in a town, Veneta, and uh, we'll explore there for a few. As you guys can see, as we're heading west, you know, a lot of cool places like this is just all vacant, run down. Uh, painful to see what used to be probably a pretty thriving town. It's kind of depressing when you think about it. We're 
rolling into the town of Veneta, Oklahoma on Route 66. Look like a bad little town, but at least it's got a little bit more life than Afton. Hmm. All right, guys. One thing I like about Route 66 is I stumble across stuff like this right here. Uh, this is a cool little station. They got a few old cars sitting here that are for sale some that aren't but this is what makes me happy about doing route 66 when i find little lots that have stuff like this that's still savable yes yeah, still savable and you know for fair prices i think the guy says he wants four thousand dollars for this old galaxy right here now that's a damn good price for an old galaxy especially two-door hardtop body looks great they've not crawled underneath but being from this area i would imagine the bottom it's probably pretty decent so but I'm going to walk around here and show some highlights. Another old Ford, Fair Lane. Two door. A little rough, but not too awful bad. <laughs> Another two door Fair Lane. Needs some quarter panel work for sure. Straighten that back out. Like it's missing a tail light. All this stuff is for sale though. Check out the old Mercury here. Just don't see stuff like that. I mean, they, back in the day, even if it was a four door family car, it still had some lines. It still had some uniqueness to them. They didn't just look like everything else. And in my book, that's very cool. Look at these tail lights. Just look at this back window here. Back in the day, they just made everything that had a little bit of style. Isn't that just cool? I mean, just awesome. Imagine you break that window, you probably have a little bit of fun trying to find one to replace it, but still cool. And even though I'm a Chevy guy, I still like these old Ford Galaxies. These things are just awesome. Love the tail lights on these old Galaxies. Just a cool car. Good body lines. Even this one here has got good patina on it. Somebody just wanted to build them a resto mod and leave it a little roached out like that. Leave you a little body clear coat on it to preserve that. I mean, really, that's really the only real bad thing I see is right down here at the bottom of that quarter. But this thing is just all kinds of cool. Fortunately, it's raining, guys, so I can't get too close to a lot of it. But, you get a good view of the inside. But just look at that. Don't that just say, cool? Bet this thing was a very pretty car when she was new old truck here it used to belong to a grocery store matter of fact still owned by the same family that owned a grocery store here I think the gentleman told me 1922 that's when they opened the grocery store the family still owns this truck and just store it up here old 50 Dodge says Eddie's Grocery and Market. You guys can see that with a light, but that's what it actually used to say on the side of it. Here's another one for you Ford guys. A little Fastback Mustang. I see a lot of you probably looking at these thinking it's a piece of crap. 
See, I don't look at things that way. I see what they could be. I see what they could look like after you put a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. Oh, yeah. Plenty of things, plenty of potential. Andy also has two ragtop Mustangs sitting over here, too. They're going to need some love, but, man, they'd be cool when they were finished. Like I said, gentleman said all this stuff's for sale, and this is in Veneta, Oklahoma, right on Route 66. This used to be an old Hudson station, from my understanding, from talking to the gentleman. So, if you guys are interested, you guys are in the area, come take a look at these old cars. There might be something that tickles your fancy here, and... You might be able to look past the rust, the dirt, take something home and make it really cool. I think they're partial to Fords here, but here's another little Ford Fairlane. 1963 model. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think it says it on the window there, too. It says runs. So it might be a pretty decent little ride, guys. We definitely need some interior work. Just look at the dashboards and stuff like that on these. You guys can see that. Just cool little cars. All right, I gotta get out of here. Because temptation is the root of all evil <laughs> and since I'm a full-time RVer now I can't take one of these projects home and work on it but I'd love to take that old galaxy home oh, I love that old galaxy 500 home even though I'm a Chevy guy if I still lived in a stick and brick I'd buy that car and I'd put this one here right back together it's awesome all right guys on to the next all right guys so I've made it to the uh, Chelsea Bridge here in Chelsea, Oklahoma. Pretty cool bridge. And also, this was the home of Gene Altry. Did not know that. But apparently it was, and he was discovered and became a movie star after um, Will Rogers discovered him in 1926. And this bridge here was built in 1926 called the Prior Creek Bridge. Original historic bridge, Route 66, built 1926 by Oklahoma State Highway Commission. Pretty neat little bridge. I mean, as far as bridges go. Imagine back in the day, it was probably a pretty cool looking bridge. It was all painted, not rusty, but I don't mind rusty. Rusty just means it's old and cool. <laughs> In most cases, anyway. Well, we're going to take a ride across this bridge here in a moment in the truck and kind of see what's uh, on the other side. Fortunately, it has started raining on me. I'm hoping it holds off. So we can uh, explore a little bit more today. Don't have to call it quits because of the rain and getting the camera equipment wet. Hmm. Well, there's been cars going up and out there here, so this must lead somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully not just back to somebody's house. I feel like getting shot today by going on the private property. But I don't think it is. I think it's just a not so maintained part of old Route 66. And that was quick. <laughs> Man, I'm hoping this rain goes away so we can get out and look at some things. It's, it's, it don't look like it's going to cooperate. Uh, slow down a little bit, but as you guys can see in the sky there, like that rain cloud wants to follow me everywhere I'm going today. All right, guys. Well, really couldn't find anything else to get into. It was raining. I really didn't see anything worth uh, stopping to look at. 
Unfortunately, like I said yesterday's video, I don't think there's a whole lot of attractions really around the Tulsa area or the surrounding, short surrounding areas. I Today, driving to Afton, I actually drove almost two hours out to actually go check that place out, which is a very cool place. It's, like I said, you guys see the disarray that it's in now. It's unfortunate, but uh, the other part of Route 66 around the Tulsa area, just there's not a whole lot to explore here. I mean, other than the Blue Well and Katusa and a few little hit and miss spots down Route 66 through the middle of Tulsa. Uh, hopefully, you know, somebody will do some revamping of the area to try to make it a little bit better. But uh, I think we've exhausted uh, exploring here on Route 66 here in the Tulsa area. Um, I mean, Tulsa, I'm sure it's got some other uh, attractions to go check out. Um, if we're still here this weekend, we may take a trip up and check out uh, the Pioneer Woman's Spread up because it's like an hour, I think, a little over an hour north of us here in Tulsa. So, Miss Jill would like to go see that. So, if we're, like I said, if we're still here, well, maybe we'll plan to try to go up there and check that out. We'll take you guys along for that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and I'll be back at you hopefully tomorrow with another video, guys. And if you guys would like to continue to see daily videos, let me know. If not, uh, maybe we'll dial back for a week I'm trying to see what works best for everybody and who's interested in seeing daily videos it's kind of taking a little bit of a poll here but until next time guys leave it in the comments don't forget to like the video subscribe share and we'll talk to you soon bye